Hi everyone, my name's Dan and today I'm going to be taking you through a beginner cardio HIIT workout. So this program consists of eight different exercises which last one minute each. You then get one minute of rest between each exercise. As you can see in the bottom corner here, I've included the exercises for you to refer to. And we've also got a timer in the top corner and this will show you when the exercise is finishing, when the ex next rest period is beginning and how much time left you've got in each section. So if you're unable to complete each minute of exercise, I recommend you pause for a second, take a drink of water, have some rest and then join me back in the exercise when you are ready. OK, so let's start this. We've got a little timer coming in here so that we can get into position. I will also put some music on for you. OK, let's go. First exercise is a jog on the spot. So this is just a warm up for the exercises to follow. As you can see, I'm just jogging on the spot here. Moving my feet, moving my arms with my feet. Gentle warm up here for you. Nothing too strenuous. Okay, we've got about 20 seconds left of the jog. Keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, first rest period for you here. So what I'm gonna do in between each of the exercises is show you the next, in, sorry, between the, the rest periods, I'm gonna show you the next exercise. So that, as you can see, the next exercise is a star jump. So what I want you to do is it looks like this. Spread your feet out and then touch each hand together up at the top above your head. Looks like this from the side. Okay, so take that rest, take some water if needed uh, and get ready to come back in 20 seconds to, come to start the next exercise. Okay, so 10 seconds, let's get back into position. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Remember, splay your feet out around shoulder width apart and then touch above your head, both your hands together like a star. This is a cardio hip workout, so let's try and do as many as we can within the minute. However, form is very important as well. So let's make sure we, we keep moving. Okay, we've got 15 seconds left of the minute to go. Keep going. Three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Okay, so our next exercise is going to be squat. So if we don't know what a squat is, it looks a little bit like this. Feet shoulder width apart, sit into the squat, keeping your knees over your toes, and then back up again. Looks like this from the side angle. Try and keep a 90 degree angle between your hips and knees and ankles, and back up. And we're just gonna, we're gonna look like this. Okay, so around 20 seconds to go till we start the squat exercise. 
10 seconds, take your drink and let's get back into it. Okay, I'm ready. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Again, form is very important with the squat. So once we've got our form sorted, let's see how many we can do within the minute given. Show you from the side again. I can feel my thighs starting to burn. I don't know about you. Okay, I've got around 20 seconds left. Keep going. If you feel burn, that's good. Burning in your thighs, that's really good. Keep going. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, take that deserved rest. That was a hard one. Have a sip of water. Shake your legs out if you need to. I know I do. Okay, so next exercise is the boxing jabs. So making it a little bit more sport specific here. What I want you to do is to sit into a little squat and then jab forward, using your abs to throw your arms in front. From the front. Okay, so you've got around 20 seconds now to have a drink, have a rest, and then get back into position, into position for the boxing jabs. Okay, 10 seconds. And three, two, one, let's go. Punch that wall in front of you. Use, use your abs to punch in front of you. I've heard that Inspire Fitness Academy like their boxing classes, so you should enjoy this one. Have a look from the side. Use that core to jab in front of you. Technique of your boxing jab isn't too important, as you can probably see from mine. Just getting those arms out in front of you, having a workout is the most important thing in this session. Okay, we've got 10 seconds, let's keep going. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Okay, so I can feel my heart rate going now. I can take my glass of water. Okay, so our next exercise is going to be side to side runs. So, as you can see, I haven't really got too much space here, I've only got a meter by about one and a half meters. But what I want you to do is a couple of steps aside. And touch the floor. A couple of steps to the side. Touch the floor. So the side to side. Run. A couple of steps. Touch the floor. Okay. So if we start from the left and then move to your right. Okay, got 10 seconds. Let's start getting back into position. Three, two, one, let's go, side to side runs for a minute. Place your hand on your knee like this for a little bit of support in getting down. We're doing a little squat to the floor and then touching the floor as we go down. Okay, let's pick it up, see how fast we can do it. We're over halfway through now. Twenty seconds left. Keep it up, I know you're doing well. 
Final eight seconds, let's go. See how many we can fit in. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done. So you're probably feeling your heart rate and your breathing spiking up here. So take a good deep breath in through your mouth. Sorry, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, so our next exercise is the mountain climbers. So what I want you to do here is using your core, throw your knees up into the air whilst climbing the ladder like this. So it's going to look like this. It's going to simulate climbing a very fast mountain, <laughs> but it's going to really work, work that core, work those legs. and be a really good cardio workout for you as well. Okay, so finish your drinks. Got seven seconds left, so we start the exercise. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's throw those knees up, up towards your hips. Hip height, let's reach as high as we can. Climb that ladder. One from the side here. We're halfway, keep going. You're doing well. Remember if you need to stop, take a rest, take a drink, and come back in. Join me when you can. Okay, 15 seconds. Five, two, and one. Well done, take a rest. Remember, get your breathing under control, as you can see. My heart rate's going, my breath. Breaths are getting quicker. So I'm just trying to take some deep breaths, get that air into your lungs. Okay, so the next exercise, an ultimate exercise here. So we've got high knees. So all you do, like this, like we just did with the mountain climbers, but we're going to be running instead. High knees up there. Okay. Got 20 seconds to catch your breath. Let's get back into it in 15 seconds. Shake your legs out if you need to. Five seconds, let's get back in now, ready? Ready for the high knees? Let's go. So for also exercise, let's start seeing some good numbers. See how many high knees we can get in. Okay, we're nearly halfway through. Keep going. Remember to breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. But more importantly, remember to actually breathe. Might sound silly, but I know a lot of people who won't breathe properly during an exercise. Okay, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Well done, we're on our final exercise now, guys. Which is gonna be an on-the-spot sprint. So like with our first exercise, we just did a gentle jog this time. We're gonna move our feet as fast as we can for one minute. So we need to really rest here. Make sure you're taking in those breaths. Let's go as fast as we can for the final exercise. Got 26 seconds to rest now. Shake those legs out, ready for the sprint. Sprint finish. OK, 
Uh, grab that last bit of water if you need it. Five seconds, let's get back in. Three, two, one, let's go. Sprint it out, come on. It's the last exercise, use all of the energy you've got. Let's move those feet as fast as we can. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, we're coming up to halfway. Take a little a few second breather if you need to. Then get back in and give it all you've got. Okay, 20 seconds. On 10 seconds, let's really go for it. Okay, 10 seconds, let's go. Last 10 seconds of the workout, come on. Three, two, one, and finish, well done. Take some nice deep breaths. Take some water if you need it. You can take this time to either take nice deep breaths or you can use this time to stretch out if you want to. I'll go through stretches in a later video, but we can do some stretches such as these. Or quadricep stretching, hamstrings. We've used those legs a lot today. So make sure you have a good warm down and use this minute well. Okay, 10 seconds. One last inhale. And exhale. Okay, well done. Thank you for watching today. I'll see you in the next video.